This is a blockbuster in every sense of the word. The Montreal Canadiens have traded Arturi Lekin into the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for Justin Barron and a second round pick in 2024. Holy crap, dude. I didn't realize Lekin would go for that much, but my goodness. Kent Hughes has gone out there and pried away some assets from Joe Sackick. Let's go over onto Adrian Dater's Twitter account. He is an insider for the Colorado Avalanche. He does stuff on 1043 The Fan. He says, Avs trade Justin Barron after all. And a second for Arturi Lekanen. I think it's a big mistake trading Barron, but that's me. Some Avs people are not as high on him, apparently. So if you go over to all the details here, there is one more thing we have to talk about. Montreal is retaining 50% on Arturi Lekanen in the Colorado deal. That is not too important, but I mean, look, Lekanen is making $2.3 million a season, so he's cut down to $1.15 on the Colorado cap hit. But my gosh, but Arturi Lekanen... By the way, we're going on to Hockey DB because Elite Prospects is still down. Yeah, they have so much traffic from all the trades and stuff being broken that their entire website has just kind of crapped the bed so far. But Lycanen, 26 years old, last year of his deal, making that $1.15 million a season on the Colorado cap hit. He's got 29 points in 58 games played this season. Do the math on that. 29 divided by 58 multiplied out by 82. He is on pace for 41 points on the season, which would be a career high. He has been pretty good, despite the fact that the Canadians have not been pretty good, and he's provided his versatility, scoring ability, speed, and all-round two-way play throughout the Habs lineup this entire year. The Colorado Avalanche, on the other hand, are trading away a second and Justin Barron. Barron is a right-handed defenseman. We talked about this a few videos ago, that the Montreal Canadiens don't really have the best right-side D prospect core anymore. And so, for Barron to be included in here, this is a big, big win. He was taken in the 25th overall spot in 2020, so he's essentially a first-round pick, and playing for the Eagles this season, he had 20 points in 43 games played. Now, he's going to be rounding out his game most likely in Laval, so it's going to be cool to see Barron make his way over to the AHL squad over there, but the Montreal Canadiens have legitimately gotten themselves a top-four potential ceiling defenseman prospect at only 20 years old. Not to mention the second, all for Arturi Lekkinen by himself at 50% retained. This is a fantastic trade for Kent Hughes. This is a really, really good move, and, you know, we just saw that the Colorado Avalanche also traded for Andrew Cox Agliano from the Sharks. So what they're doing is they're really getting speedy. They're really getting those quick, versatile forwards. And I mean, I wouldn't want to be playing Colorado in the first round of the playoffs. Now, wouldn't I? Especially as a fan of my Vancouver Canucks. They're not going to do anything against that team. My gosh. So Colorado, you guys are improving. You guys are getting Lekanen for nobody on your roster. You're just sacrificing the future, which is okay because you're trying to go all in and you're trying to win this season. It's appropriate. Don't worry. Not saying that you guys lost a trade or anything, but I do very much like Justin Barron and the profile he does possess. That second round pick will probably be somewhere in like the late second round. So it's essentially an early third for Montreal, but hey. You want to go out there, you want to get your picks whenever you can, right? So let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Arturi Lekkonen at 50% retained getting traded for Justin Barron and a second round pick from the Avalanche. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.